Hello all, this is Koki Lovani from Department of Costume Design Fashion at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now I am going to share about how to start a boutique. A boutique is a small retail shop selling clothes, fabric, accessories and other goods to specific segment of the market. It is easy to start, easily manageable by even one person. It requires a comparatively small amount of capital to start. Encourages the creativity and passion of owner to grant expense. And also this more often than not leads to successful and enriching life for the involved. First step to start a boutique. Design on the type of boutique you want to start. There are basically three types of boutique in terms of the way they stock goods. Consequent boutique, regular buy and sell boutique and then Francis boutique. A consequent boutique will stock goods manufactured by other designer or manufacturer and will take a percentage of their share when the item is sold. Buy and sell boutique. The buy and sell boutique will buy goods at their wholesaler price from the manufacturer or distributor and sell them at high markup to the customer. This model of boutique will make a much higher profit at the end of the day but you need a large initial investment to the buy merchandise. Francis boutique. The Francis boutique will be operating under a large branding and will exclusively sell the brand. A Francis will have to pay to the parent company to use the brand name and logo and allow to share their merchandise. Next step, design on the USB of the store, purpose of your business. Design on why you want to open the boutique and what you will be offering. You will also have to know what the strength and the color which appear to the market at the moment. Next step, design on the clothes you will carry and who can will sell it. Think about the purpose of your business and whether it tries to solve a real problem. You can conduct a small market research to know what is currently lacking in the market that you can provide. Next step, design on the source of funding for the business. Ideally, you should start with enough money to carry on for next 6 months in this business. I would say 1 year or 2 years. Most business do not turn a profit within the first few years. So having enough cash to carry on the business and also be your personal expense is necessary. If you do not want to business to fold before as a change to provide itself. Next step, look for the location where you can have your store. Location is one of the most important factor in deciding the success of your store. But choosing the best location depends on your budget. A boutique located in very busy mall will have heavy traffic but comes with heavy trend. A boutique located in a quiet residential area will not have customers throwing the halls but rent will be less. So the choices depends on you and what you can afford. Next tip, design on where you will source the cloth fabric from. You need a source which will supply good quality product for your boutique. Look out for manufacturer the specialized in product you have in mind. As for sample, the picture in website's catalog, never tell the full story. After you have seen them first hand, you can negotiate with them and they can work out the budget according to your quantity. The next step is designing on the pricing. Pricing is rightly will make or break your store. Remember that you will have to take into account a whole lot of factor when designing on the price. Design on the price which your customers can afford and which can give you a nice profit. If you want to make a profit, you will have to have adequate markup pricing on the wholesale price. Some market will take a higher markup than others. Next is design on the store layout. This store decor is an important element in making people feel whether they should buy from your stores or not. Colors you use. Inside the store, shelf and storage layout are our contributing factor to buying decision. Next step is decide on the operational procedure of your store. This is the policy you want to set up about how to mean to run the business. Record keeping should be assigned properly. What on book should be kept like this cash receipt book. 
consult someone about handling your taxes as well. Hiring an accountant who has experience in retail business to handle accounts is a good idea. Get an accounting software on your computer in which you can keep the necessary information. You need to be having a system to store the contact information of all your customers. You need the customers to be informed of further sales. Next step is finish the legalities of your business. Design on the name for your business. Make sure that your name is not a trademark name of some of other company. Register the name of the business. Start a business current account with the bank. Merchant account will be able to process credit or debit card transaction is a necessary especially if you will be allowing transaction other than the cash. Thank you.